Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMC. In this video, we are going to learn the properties of division and we are in class 4 now. Division is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. Let us see what are all the properties of division. The first property is multiplication and division are related. For each multiplication fact, there are two division facts. To understand the relationship between multiplication and division, please do visit my video in class 3 which shows the clear relationship between multiplication and division with sufficient number of examples. Link to that video is given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. What does the first property say? For each multiplication fact, there are two division facts. Let us see this with the help of examples. 9 into 8 is equal to 72. This is the multiplication statement. Let us see what are the two division facts for this. The first division fact is 72 divided by 9 is equal to 8. Here 72 is the dividend, 9 is the divisor. What will be the quotient? 9 into 8 is 72. So that is why the answer for 72 divided by 9 is equal to 8. Let us see the next division fact. 72 divided by 8 is equal to 9. Here the dividend is 72, divisor is 8. So what will be the quotient? 8 into 9 is 72. So 9 is the answer or the quotient. So did you understand the two division facts for this single multiplication fact? Let us do more examples to understand this better. 15 into 7 is equal to 105. What are the two division facts for this? 105 divided by 15 is equal to 7. The other division fact is 105 divided by 7 is equal to 15. Let us see another example. 23 into 6 is equal to 138. What are the two division facts? 138 divided by 23 is equal to 6. And the second division fact is 138 divided by 6 is equal to 23. See the next property of division. When a number is divided by itself, the quotient is 1. What do you mean by dividing a number by itself? Dividing a number 2 by itself means dividing 2 divided by 2. What will you get the quotient to be? 1 because 2 into 1 is 2. I have taken a very small example and told. Let us see more examples now with 2 digit and 3 digit numbers. 43 divided by 43 is equal to 1. 43 is a number. When you divide it by itself which is the same number, you will get the quotient to be 1. 99 divided by 99 is equal to 1. Let us take a 3 digit number 672 divided by 672. What will be the quotient? 1. How many ever the number of digits be? The answer when you divide a number by itself will be 1. Answer in division is called as the quotient. So the quotient will always be 1. When you divide a number by itself, that is your second property. Let us see the third property of division. When a number is divided by 1, the answer is the number itself. Let us take the same simple example of 2. What will happen when you divide 2 divided by 1? What will be the quotient? 1 into 2 is 2. So the answer will be the same number 2. That is what this property means. When a number is divided by 1, the answer or the quotient is the number itself. Let us see sufficient examples now. 26 divided by 1. So here the number is 26. When you divide it by 1, what will be the quotient or the answer? It will be the same number 26. 85 divided by 1 is equal to 85. Let us take a 3 digit number. 549 divided by 1 is equal to 549. 
because 1 into 549 is going to give you 549. So the quotient is 549. Hope you have understood the third property. Let us look into more properties of division now. When 0 is divided by any number, the answer is always 0. What is this? When you divide 0 by any number, for example, 0 divided by 20. 20 into what will give you 0? 20 into 0 is going to give you 0. So the quotient will be 0. That is what this property means. When 0 is divided by any number, the answer will always be 0. 0 divided by 77. What is the quotient? Or the answer? 0. 0 divided by 398 will also be 0. When you divide 0 by any digit number, the answer of the quotient is always going to be 0. That is your fourth property of division. So let us quickly summarize the properties of division now. Multiplication and division are related. For each multiplication fact, there are two division facts. When a number is divided by itself, the quotient is 1. When a number is divided by 1, the answer is the number itself. When 0 is divided by any number, the answer or the quotient is always 0. Hope you clearly understood the properties of division. What are all the learning outcomes for the children in class 4 under the topic division? First, it is a quick division revision. Division of a 4-digit number by a single digit number where you get 4-digit quotient, 3-digit quotient and we also have some shortcut in the special case. Next topic is division by 10, 100, 1000. This is also called as pattern division. Next is the properties of division and then dividing by a 2-digit number where you will do estimating the quotient, dividing by a 2-digit number with single digit quotient, dividing by a 2-digit number which will give you 2-digit quotients. Each of this we will be dealing with sufficient number of examples. Dividing 3-digit numbers by greater 2-digit numbers, dividing 4-digit numbers by 2-digit numbers, division of money, story sums applying division, mixed story sums which will include addition, subtraction, multiplication and division and then finally we will see mental math and division worksheet. Of this I have completed division revision in my first video for class 4. Then the second video we saw division of a 4 digit number by a single digit number. Then for we saw pattern division which included division by 10, 100 and 1000. And in this fourth video for class 4 we saw properties of division. In the upcoming videos we will be seeing each of these topics and each of these topics will be done in separate videos with sufficient number of examples. Link to all the related videos will be given below in the description box and access to the playlist also will be given below in the description box. Thank you for watching my video. If you like the content, do give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Do not forget to click on the red subscribe button and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I am going to be uploading in my channel. See you again.